So when you have two ratios that are equivalent to each other, we say they are in proportion to each other. So two sevenths is in proportion to four fourteenths. Um, so would we, if we make this a mathematical state a statement, so how do we make a mathematical statement that two things are equal to each other? Well, we do it with an equation. So we, if we say two sevenths is equal to four fourteenths, or two to seven is equal to four to fourteenth, if you're using the uh, ratio language, uh, this is called a proportion. And proportions are actually going to be a really useful tool to, uh, for us. Uh, they're used a lot in healthcare applications, especially in calculating dosages. So proportions are something we definitely need to know about. Um, and so how they're useful, um, if I had a, I know 2 is to 7, and didn't know on what it was on the top, but I want I knew I wanted 21 on the bottom. So I have 2 uh, to 7 equals some number to 21. And I want to figure out what that number is. Well, true, these are proportions, and are true this is a proportion, and these guys are ratios, but they still work just like all the things we know about. They work like fractions, they work like equations. So these work just like the rational equations that we've already talked about solving. Um, and so all I have to do is solve this little equation for x, and I have my, my answer for x. So we can just do that really quickly by multiplying on both sides by 21. And so just simplifying this side over here, I get 6. And then on the other side, my 21's cancel and leaves me with x. So x has to be 6. So for this to be a true statement, 2 to 7 is equivalent to 6 to 21. And that is, in fact, true. Um, so that's how we can solve a proportion using our knowledge about rational equations. Um, so just another quick example of another type of a problem you might encounter. So 1 to 4 equals 6 to x. So this one's a little bit different because now my, what the value that I'm looking for, the variable, is in the bottom. But that's okay. We can still handle it. Remember, these variables, I keep saying this, uh, they are just numbers, and so they act just like numbers. So we can do the same thing we did with the 21. We can multiply both sides by x because we can't get 1x on the top if our x is in the bottom, so we have to get it out somehow. So they cancel over here, and so on the other side I'm left with x over 4 equals 6. And then I just want to get the x by itself, so I multiply by 4 on both sides, uh, and I end up with x equals 24. And so there we have it. We have our answer. Um, and we can definitely check it to make sure it makes this true statement. 1 to 4 is... Uh, is e equivalent to 6 to 24, which is true. So there you have it. That is how we use our knowledge about rational equations to solve proportions.